Hello everyone! Welcome to another 3D print showcase video. This one is from the talented Crazy Aries. Uh, recently, they did a new evolution, a 3D print evolution to Zeus. Actually, previously they did one uh, that was, what was it? It was Nebula Zeus, which uh, managed uh, to find, after all this time, it's missing out of the weight and everything. And, uh, but uh, it was really cool. Did another evolution. So this one's called Jade Zeus. I actually like the name quite a bit because it's in reference to obviously Jade Jupiter with the whole metal balls thing. But uh, we went the full mile actually because we even did the performance tip, the custom one that he made, which was uh, satellite. It is super, super cool. So like I was going to say, if you have a second, please subscribe to Crazy Aries. He's very close to 8,000, so I think we can give him that push and get him to 8,000. Very talented 3D print artist, and uh, again, links in the description. Looks very nice. He also, he did make stickers for this, but for the sake of this video, I did just do uh, paint applications on it, uh, just to make it look, you know, nice. Uh, we, of course, have... By the we had to go through a lot of things just to set up, uh, just to get the metal ball. Some were easy to get. Others I, had to, I took from Flair. Flair I had to take the metal balls from. Looks nice, the chip. The chip uh, is really cool, actually. It did take a while just to set up uh, the chip here. Uh, the jade ring, which is really cool, which you can just see. You can hear all the metal balls there. Uh, the custom driver, which is a satellite. Uh, this one was an inter interesting case, actually, just to explain. Just because we didn't have the right one, so I had to do a trick where I used the spare one from one of the drivers. I think it was a driver or something, or one of the spare metal balls. And I had to put another metal ball, a small one, on top. That way it would be pressured uh, down. Because if I didn't put anything there, it would just be flat. But uh, we're going to weigh each of the individual parts uh, before we do battles and everything. But I always liked Zeus. I thought it was a nice stamina type bay. It even got uh, evolutions all the way up until God, which is pretty surprising. So I'm just going to go with the combo that he has, obviously. So we, of course, got our chip, which is 4.12. We then have to have the jade ring, which is 12.37. Yeah, chip is 4.12. Then after the 1S that I'll be using for this video is going to be 16.23. Then after we have the around disc, which is 26.86. Then after the custom satellite driver, which is about 10.12. And all together now, which hopefully if I can get this right on my uh, try, sh I think it should be a decent weight. I'm hoping this actually will go all together just before I lock it in. We're looking at about 69.68, so that's pretty good uh, for the weight and everything. We're gonna get this thing assembled now. Okay, just to make sure, cause I, cause I didn't want to mess it up, cause uh, especially with how uh, the 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 files are laid out for the chip, I wanted to be careful, cause I did actually make a mistake and accidentally broke uh, the bottom part of the chip. I don't know if it was just cause it's thin or whatever, but uh, I'd be very careful. But you, you can you can hear the sound of it. So many metal balls on the thing. Look at how it spins just with a hand spin. That is insane stamina and it looks nice. It's uh, very cool looking. And the thing is too, Zack is a manga legend blader. So it is very cool just to see this, even if he never actually gets an evolution. We're gonna throw it up against some bays, but uh, why not put it up against Mirage Fafnir? No. For the sake of this, we're going to slap on the Absorb Driver, just because nothing is not good for stamina in any regard. And we're going to see, but first, we got to do the respects and do a test launch. Look at that. Let, let's let it sit there for a second. I, I always love uh, Crazy Aries' work. He's very creative, and he makes it in a way where it feels like... like he, he, it, It's like something you would expect from TT. And he does a very excellent job. It's very professional, is the point I'm trying to make. Plus, too, it's like, he does a lot of cool stuff that TT probably wouldn't do. Uh, there's a lot of stuff like the Frostburn thing that he did, which was uh, a proper ring that Diabolo should have originally had. It was a flip thing. And it's always, it's always cool to showcase his work as well, in general, for other people as well. 
Very nice. So we're gonna hit against uh, Barrage. Ah, see, the power of the absorb driver. I don't think it's gonna manage to burst it. Maybe Rage could burst this. I'm just trying to think, maybe Rage? Yeah, but Fafnir's got that absorb. Oh, wow, it got a few, it got actually got like to the middle for Fafnir for clicks. All right, there we go. Now it's a battle of stamina. It's just, this is a nice phase. I, 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 I feel like, this, it, it feels like a proper evolution too. Plus, even the part challenge would make a lot of sense because I, I, I think TT would be very hesitant on double chassis and they probably would just give it around. Yeah, that's Zeus. That, that is Zeus. Uh, do we throw another round? Yeah, let's throw it. It is stamina after all. Let's, let's throw another round. Ah, you see it? Because I knew that was going to happen. All right, it's 2-1. We'll go, we'll go until 3 against Fafnir. Power of the nothing. The, the nothing. Not no, 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 nothing. Power of the Absorb Driver. Zeus, I beg. Okay, I'm going to give that to 2-2 because it technically did knock it out. It, it, it did actually push it out of the arena. All right, let's, uh, let's get it. We're going to do a launch. I'll count it. It's a tiebreaker now. And get some nice hits. Oh, it, my thoughts on the driver, it, it's very interesting. I do like how it's like an expansion on uh, Planet. Planet was, was a cool driver for the concept of the metal balls and everything. I think in the same regards, the same for Satellites. And he does actually do an in-depth explanation on his video for how Satellite's supposed to work and everything. Yeah, an outspin we should get. Yeah, that's that's... And that's a nice outspin too. It's crazy too how much uh, stamina this thing has. All right, so we just did Mirage Fat here, which is sort of just like, you know, it's a fine day. You know, it's, it's nothing like if it, if it beat it, it was gonna be an insane win. Let's put it against something else. I'm thinking, let's go on the aggressive and we got Tempest Dragon. So Dragon versus Zeus. See how it does. Now Zeus has to hold its ground, because I... Oh, that is monstrous! That is monstrous! A burst finish? What, what chipped, by the way? What chipped? I swear to God, I saw something chip. Was it the 3D print? Might have been the 3D print. Or maybe it was Dragon, dude. Well, probably it was Dragon, considering I just saw Dragon burst. Now it's not that rare because it does have charged metal and charged metal is a weak spring, but still, it, it, it's kind of impressive just to see already like a burst finish on a double chassis bay. Uh, let's get Glide Ragnarok. Stamina versus stamina. I think we know what this is going to go to, but still. I'm actually hoping that the Zeus one doesn't get KO'd somehow randomly. Because I think the Zeus thing can get KO'd, but stamina-wise, this, this, this thing should do great. Yeah, poor Glide. <laughs> poor Glide. Okay. Okay, what else do we throw up against it? Okay, let's throw up against something a little bit more hard-hitting. Let's do Super Hyperion. Hyperion is a heavy header. Okay, that's a little bit, uh, wow, fair enough. A little bit unexpected, I thought Hyperion. Let's see now. Yeah, I was about to say. Yeah, so that easily goes to Hyperion, but I think if it doesn't manage to get knocked out, hold on, sorry. Yeah, stamina-wise, it should win. Cause it's very, it's very sturdy. It takes hits. The power of Jade Zeus. I might've said Nebula by accident, so I was thinking of the other one. It's even getting clicks off of these double chassis bays. Zeus, but it's God tier. 
Take the hits. Okay. Oh. Ah! Super Hyperion. Okay, let's go now. The hard launch. I feel like attack types, you can push back. But if it doesn't, it goes to Jade Zeus. So I actually want to try, is this the right range I'm picking up? Okay, whatever, I'll take it. Uh, rage Longness, now this thing's a beast, so this thing is definitely gonna do something to Zeus. Now I'm a little bit afraid because I don't want anything crazy to happen, but whatever happens, happens, I guess. All right, we're holding clear. We managed not to get killed. God, the stamina on that thing is really crazy. Which I guess makes sense. I'm, I'm sure that was the goal of the thing. It's so clean, the outspins at the end. I love it. All right, so, you know, I, I, I think it's fair to say we're gonna end it off uh, for here. We did some nice uh, battles with some bays. I really wanna play around with this and uh, just see what works and what doesn't work. But uh, in the comments, you let me know your thoughts uh, on this. I definitely think, uh, that's why we did it against like Rage and everything. I definitely think that uh, it's really solid and uh, super excited to uh, do more testings with it. But uh, yeah. That's going to be where we end off this video. And please, please, please make sure you check out Crazy Aries, a link in the description as per usual. And thank you for watching. Have an awesome and amazing day.